There is a page in the ETS math review that so many students ignore. And when I ask them about it, they're like, I've never heard of that. And it's about the interior and exterior angles of regular polygons. Now, there are some students who've heard of that topic and they have a method to do with 180 times n minus two. But I can tell those students I have a better way. So stay tuned. We're gonna do a couple of questions together using my amazing method. First of all, what is an exterior angle and an interior angle? This diagram can help explain. In a regular polygon, and that just means a polygon of all equal sides and equal angles, the exterior angle is the angle facing outwards on the outside of the polygon if you draw a straight line through one of its sides. The interior angle is the angle on the inside. All the interior angles will be the same and all the exterior angles will be the same. Now, some of you might not have even heard of this topic and are thinking, does this really come up? But I can reassure you, this topic does come up. Others of you are thinking of the formula that the book gives and that many other providers give. I've put that formula on screen and it's not the formula I'm gonna use though, but it is a formula you can use to find the sum of the interior angles of any polygon, where N is the number of sides of that polygon. But you wanna hear about my amazing method, right? So here's the truth. As you can see from the diagram, all the exterior angles go round in 360 degrees. So if we do 360 degrees divided by the number of sides that the shape has, that will tell us the exterior angle. 360 degrees divided by the number of sides of the shape gives us straight away the exterior angle. Now, some of you are now thinking, wow, that's amazing, Philip. That's the best method I've ever heard, but that doesn't tell us the interior angle. Wouldn't we use the other formula for the interior angle? No, hold your horses. We can just do 180 degrees minus the exterior angle we just found, and that will tell us the interior angle of any regular polygon. That's right, no need for the complicated formula. We can do 360 divided by the number of sides, find the exterior angle, and then simply take that away from 180 to find the interior angle every time. The other formula will tell you the sum of the interior angles, and then you'd have to divide by the number of sides to find out each interior angle. That's the second reason why I love my method over the books method. To sum it up, you just need to remember that you need to do 360 divided by the number of sides that a shape's got to work out the exterior angle and 180 minus the exterior angle if you need to work out the interior angle. Time for a question. This one's more of a warm up, but it could well appear on the easy level of the GRE or GMAT. What is the angle marked X in the diagram shown? If you want, pause the video, try it yourself, or you can wait a moment and I'll show you what to do. Hopefully you realize that angle X is the exterior angle of this nine sided shape, which I believe is called a nonagon, but you might wanna check that. So we've got a nine sided shape, a nonagon, and X is the exterior angle of that shape. Luckily, we have my magic formula, 360 divided by the number of sides to give us the exterior angle. In this case, 360 divided by nine, which I believe is 40, so angle X, is 40 degrees. You might say, okay, that was so easy though. But if you didn't know the formula and think of all those students who don't know the formula, then it suddenly becomes quite a hard question, right? Like how would you, I guess you'd have to do, if you know the other formula, 180 times nine minus two, work out the sum of the interior angles, divide that by nine and then do 180 minus. It would be quite a faff if you didn't know this formula. So you're in luck. That formula got us the answer almost straight away. But now I'm gonna give you a harder question. This could well appear on the medium to hard sections of the GRE or GMAT, so give it your best go. I'm not gonna read out the whole question because that would involve singing a lot of letters, but essentially we have 
an octagon and you need to find angle CAH. Can you combine everything you've learned in this video to work out the angle CAH in this diagram? Okay, first things first, we're gonna rely on my magic formula to find the exterior angle. You might be thinking to yourself, but I don't see any exterior angles here. Doesn't matter, we're gonna find it anyway. So 360 degrees, just follow orders. 360 degrees divided by the number of sides, it's an octagon, so there are eight sides. 360 divided by eight, hmm, I believe that's 45. Might wanna check that, yeah, 40, yeah, 45. So the exterior angle is 45. And I know that's not on the diagram, but we can go straight away from having worked out the exterior angle to now working out the interior angle. Can you remember how to work out the interior angle if we have the exterior angle? We do 180 minus the exterior angle. In this case, 180 minus 45 gives us 135 for the interior angle of the octagon. And now you're thinking, okay, I've got the interior angle. I can see that interior angle that would repeat itself around the octagon. But how would that help us with angle CAH? The secret lies in the triangle ABC. Think of that angle at the top, ABC, or the angle at B. That is also 135, because that's also an interior angle. If the angle at B is 135, and we know it's an isosceles triangle, we can do 180 degrees, take away 135, to see what's left over for those two acute angles at A and C. 180, take away 135, is 45 degrees. And that 45 degrees must be split equally between the acute angle A and the acute angle at C. Dividing 45 by two, we get 22.5. So that's the measure of the two acute angles at A and C, 22.5 degrees. And at this point, you can probably glimpse how that's gonna help solve to find the angle CAH. If the entire interior angle at A is 135 degrees, as it is elsewhere in the octagon, then we would simply do 135 degrees minus that small acute angle, BAC, or the acute angle A, 22.5, and that would get the rest of the angle, CAH. 135 degrees, take away 22.5, see if I can do this in my head, would that be 112.5? 112.5. 5 degrees, I believe is correct. Yes, 112.5 degrees for CAH. We got there. But notice how it all started. It's easy once you see the answer to go, yeah, I could have got that. But would you have thought to work out the exterior angle? Would you have thought to minus that from 180 to work out the interior angle? Did you notice the isosceles triangle? And would you finally have thought to work out CAH by doing the entire interior angle, A, take away that acute angle. It's definitely a medium to hard level question that could appear on the GRE or GMAT. But using that simple magical formula, we got to the answer. If you've learned anything from this video, you can probably predict what I'm gonna say. Please like, please leave a comment. I appreciate them all. I've had some requests to do a geometry video and this might just be the first if people really feel like they learned something from the video. Lovely to see you all and have a great day.